Hello there and welcome to Maths A-Level Practice Paper B and here we're working on question 5. The curve with equation y equals h of x passes through the points 4 and 19. Given that h prime of x, this means the differential of x, dh dx, uh, is equal to this value here, find h of x. Okay, so yeah, so we, this is what I thought it might be. So it's one of these ones where we have the differential and we need to work backwards to... Um, to find its original function. So if you remember, we can get from f of x and differentiate it, and we get to f dash of x, the differential of it, and a way of getting back to our original function, which is what we want to do here, is the opposite of differentiation, which is integration. So that's what this question is on about. So what we need to do first is we need to get this uh, these third forms into an expression that we can uh, differ integrate. So x times the square root of x, what we have to do with this is we have to treat this as x to the 1 times x to the half, a power of a half referring to a square root, and then we can add the powers together. So the first one is going to be x to the power of 3 over 2. It's really important that you start with that um, when you do these sorts of problems. You start off by turning your question into something that is differentiable. And with the next one, 40 over um, the square root of x, uh, the way that we deal with a over is it has a minus power on it, and if it has a square root, it has a half as a power. So this is 40x to the power of negative, because it's on a fraction, bottom of a fraction, and half because it's a square root. So with the second part, it's going to be minus 40x to the minus half. And if you remember, with integration, if you've got x to the n and you're integrating it, you need to do x to the n plus 1, so add on 1 to your power, and then divide by that new power, x n plus 1. Okay, so this is how you integrate. So let's do that with this question here. So it's starting with a 15. x, increase the power by 1. So it's a 1.5 at the moment. Increase that to 2.5, which is 5 over 2. And then we divide by a new power, which is 5 over 2. Take away and 40, increase our power of 1, increase our power, I mean, so it's at minus half, increase it by 1, it would go to a half, and divide throughout by a new power. Now, a little trick to divide by 15 over 5 over 2 is to treat this as 15 over 1 times, and then if we're dividing by a fraction, we kiss and flip, don't we? So it's over 2 over 5. So this expression here is going to simplify to, this will cancel out with a 3. So this would end up as a 6x to the 5 over 2. Take away, and if you divide by a half, you double it. So that will give us 80x to the half. And what I'll do is I'll put this back into third form here. So it would be x... 6x um, x squared, square root of x, minus 80 times the square root of x. And this is h of x now. This is h of x, and this was dh of x. Okay. Oh, but I've forgotten one thing, haven't I? The thing that you always have to do when you integrate something is to do plus C. And the reason you need a plus C on it is because when you differentiate, any numbers that you had on the end, like a plus 17, will have disappeared when you differentiate it because it isn't, um, it doesn't matter, where about, uh, it doesn't involve anything to do with the gradient. Okay. So now what we have to do is probably using this 419 value, find out the value of C. So when we plug in, this is referring to when you plug in H of 4, you get the value 19 out. So that's what we're going to do here. H of 4 is 19, and this is going to equal 6 times 4 squared times the square root of 4. Take away 80, lots of the square root of 4 plus C. So this here is going to give us 
6 times 8 is 48, double 48, because it's a square root of 4, so which is a 2, that'll give you a 96. Take away 80 times 2, which is 160. Add on C. And then simplifying this, taking everything over to the other side, and you get C equals minus 13. So therefore, our final answer is going to be H of X equals 6x squared root x minus 80 root x. So everything coming down from here uh, plus c, but c was minus 13, so I need to take away 13. Okay, great. That's the six marks for that question.